What's going on, family? I'm out here in the rain on a beautiful day still, and I just finished my workout, and I'm just thinking about the grace of God, right? I'm just thinking about how God could care so much about each and every person that he would have an individual plan for you and that he wouldn't just turn his back on us when we take years to turn to him, but the, when we're ready to serve God, he's waiting on us. You know, the Bible talks about how when a sinner repents, there's a celebration in heaven. But without further ado, let's dive into today's Bible study. As you can see right here, it says, therefore, if anyone, is, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone and the new is here. If you say you're a Christian, but you live the exact same way you did before, you still party just as much, you still cuss just as much, you still go and do inappropriate things just as much, you know, there's a difference between believing and serving. So believing God is real is not enough. I don't know where this common belief is. That's not biblical. And I'm about to tell you why right now, because the Bible says even the demons believe God is real. That does not mean they serve him. You see this dumpster behind me? I think we can all agree that's a real dumpster. But guess what? We don't serve that dumpster. Believing is not serving. Serving is a lifestyle. Serving is sacrifice. Serving is following direction. Serving, it means we love Jesus. You know, there's a difference between loving him and, and believing in him, knowing who he is. There's a, having union with him. You know, we have opportunity to live in Christ on earth. And so many people just want to get mad at God and blame him for all the bad in the world, blame him for all the bad in their lives, when half the time, not only is it your own bad decision-making skills, why is it people want to blame God for all the bad, but not give him credit for all the good? When it's good stuff, they're like, oh, I'm self-made. I did this myself. I did it without God. Well, this is what the Bible says. Humble yourselves, therefore under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time. How many times have we tried to lift ourselves up and we fail? All right, how many times do we try to make a plan and it doesn't work out? God is saying he'll lift us up in due time. So trust in his plan, be patient and continue to serve him. We serve a good God. God is worthy to be praised and he loves you so much. Make sure to share this video with someone that just needs to hear the lo that God loves them because you guys are important, you matter. Remember, if you serve Christ, you're called to be different. Read about the men and women in the Bible. Look how they were persecuted. Look at the trials. Look at the situations. You know what I'm saying? Like, give God some praise and learn about faith. I love you guys. Peace.